We're going to explore the dynamic data feature in Brick. So first of all, what is dynamic data? So dynamic data allows you to render all sorts of data from your WordPress dashboard inside Brick. So for example, you have a featured image, a post title, a author name, any categories or tags, and all of your custom fields as well. Those you can all pull from the database and just render it inside Bricks and of course on the front end of your site. Bricks also integrates with the most popular custom fields plugins such as Advanced Custom Fields, Metabox, CMB2 and POTS. And the most common use case where you would want to utilize dynamic data is any post specific template really. So for example, if you have a custom post type, a single property listing where you just have the same layout for each listing, um, that's something where you would definitely want to take advantage of dynamic data. And uh, another very common example would be a blog post layout and a template, which is also what we are going to edit right now. So let me just head over to the builder and you can see here I'm currently editing this Bricks template for my blog post. So that's how I want my blog post to look like. I have the zero section here, I have my content here and my comment section and my post navigation. And right now I have the static title here. So on the front end, this actually doesn't render the title that I want because I'm previewing this post here. So I wanna make sure I can pull this data. And the way to do this for, in this case, dynamic text data is I can just click inside here, just remove my text and then type in this opening curly bracelet. And then I just click on post title and this on the front end will render into my post title. And I can also replace those placeholders here. So I would just replace this, I wanna say written by the author name. So I just click on this bold icon here and I can just say written by author name on, it means I want the post date here. And if I save this, and I'm going to, I'm refreshing this page. You can see now it's rendering my post title, the author and my post date. But this also doesn't just work for text. You can use this for images, videos, maps, and all kinds of data really stored inside of your database. So if I want to replace this gray background here with my featured image, what I can do, I just edit my section and then I go to background and you can see here, I have this um, drop down menu, select dynamic data. And what I want to do, I want to select my featured image. And now you can see it's rendering the featured image of my blog post. So if I save this, you can see here now, I finished editing my blog post template basically because I replaced the static data here, text here, and also my background image. And another example, I quickly want to show you how this would work with a plugin like Advanced Custom Fields. So in this case, I'm editing a page here and you can see here I have some Advanced Custom Fields data. I have this gallery here that I created with Advanced Custom Fields and down below I also have a map control where I have put in Paris, France. So what I want to do, I want to grab this data and I want to render it inside of my page and also have this featured image here. So I can go to dynamic data. And first of all, if I just want to change this background image, now I'm using this static image. I want to use my featured image instead. One click and we are done. And then I'm also going to show you how this would work with the gallery that we have here. So remember, we have those six um, property images here. So all I need to do is just click on select dynamic data and you can also see here there's another um, group title ACF. So this indicates that this is an advanced custom field, all of the data below here. So I click on gallery, maybe increase my spacing a little bit and you can see now that I'm rendering those items inside the builder and of course also later on the front end. And the same goes for the map here. You can see our map here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna look for my map. I'm gonna drag it in and here it's rendering of course by default. This is the address I have in here. So I'm just gonna remove this and then again we can click this bold icon and we're going to go down to ACF and just click on map. And you can see now it's rendering my map and that's also how it will look on the front end. It shows me my gallery here and it shows me my map here. 
And that's everything you need to know about dynamic data with Bricks.